How would you like to know how to make those beautiful images for your Divi blog posts? Hey there, I'm Tracy from TracyRose.com and this is Days with the Marketing Cat and we're going to do a very little detailed tutorial to show you exactly how I get my blog post images looking amazing every single time. What do you think? Should we show them? Okay, let's go. Good girl. So here we are on Canva.com and this is where I create all my images. Now, if you scroll down, we are looking for the YouTube thumbnail and it's under social media and email headers so click that and now you have a blank image now this is the right size to use as a thumbnail for your blog post and your if you're uploading it to youtube or if you're uploading it to facebook as well this is also the right size for that so it kind of doubles up as the wordpress image for your blog post and also as your thumbnail so what i do is i'm going to create something like this so usually I just take a photo from the video, so I'll show you how to make this kind of thumbnail and another kind of thumbnail as well. So let's head back over to Canva and go to our uploads. Now you can upload any of your own images or you can search here through lots of their images. So we're going to choose this image here, just click it and it should pop over there or you can click and drag. Now let's click and drag and make that cover the whole image. Then I'm going to add some text, so come to the left, add heading, and then type in what you want your text to be. And I'm going to change it to this font, so here's the fonts, and select any of these. I'm going to select Special Elite. So what I like, I'm going to make it yellow. I'm also going to make it a bit smaller and let's squish it up onto two lines, drag it up over here. And there we go. That's a pretty simple image. Now, if you don't have a photo background like this, let's just change and try another one, add new page and just say you want to put in a background. Let's put in a background and let's use one of these pretty backgrounds here. Okay. And I'm going to look for an image which is a laptop. Let's search for a laptop image. And I like this free one here. Okay, now I can put a photo in there or I might want to just put um, the title on there. So let's, let's just put a shape in there. So we're going to put some text over the top. So I'm just going to put in, oh, let's just drag that down there, across there. So we made it a black screen. And let's put our text in. for that and okay that looks pretty cool so either of those you can now just download now if you want to download both of them at the same time they will go into a zip file or if you just want to download say the top one we just click we just select page one there and you download it now I just want to give you uh, some advice as to why I often do this style or with the writing very small. See how I've put the writing up in the top right hand corner here? This means that if I then go and use this image to boost the post on Facebook or, um, or you know, do some paid ads or something like that, um, Facebook will allow it because sometimes if there's too much text overtaking the whole image, they won't accept it for a paid advertisement, if you know what I mean. Now I'm just opening the image up over here and I'm just gonna do one thing, and that is I'm going to resize it. So even though the dimensions are correct, 
it's kind of a large image I think it works out to be about 1200 you see 1280 by 720 uh, to fit in my blog I just only want it about 600 now you can leave it as is but it just means it's taking up more file space so that's why I just cut it down a bit so there we go at images that are the right size every time that look good on your Divi blog posts and also catch people's eyes so that they're more, more likely to actually click on your blog posts and if you want to know more about branding yourself online and generating unlimited leads online with things like blogging and videos and other social media strategies, then head over to my blog, tracyrose.com, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.